Yeah, he's fine. Well, he's scary, right? Because he feels like he's not breathing well. Ah, so oh, it's just so cute. Yeah. It's okay, yeah. Ay, llama de sacero. He can't breathe. Nice. Yeah. Dale happy little. Oh, my God. 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 Upper airway noises. I didn't hear wheezing. No, I didn't either. No crackles, no bronchi. I'll just put. And belly breathing. Yeah. Although now he looks. Vamos a oír 
The pigeon sound like this. Mm. ¿Cómo mm. es? Mm. Ah, ya sé. En el camino amo todo tú también. En el camino cabe todo tú también. Vamos a oír cómo se escucha el búho. Vamos a oír el agua sound like this. Oh, I love the owl. Max. Maximus. Papi. Mírame. Max. Look. Mírame. 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 No quiere saberle nada, míralo. Lo que mi. Papi, mira. ¿No qué? Maximus, after his first meal, okay, not eating for two days. Oh, I was so hungry. Oye, lo que hago es que voy a dar a buscar el desayuno para ti para mí. ¿Quieres? ¿Quieres? Voy a decirte hacer un porrito. Pa. Toma ahora, I want... Actually, I would like the same thing. The breakfast sandwich. And then, I would like... Máximo. Maximus. Do you see the sea spider when up the waters fell? And the potatoes. Down gain the rain and... What's the same thing? Yeah, <laughs> uh, Yay, love you. If you're happy and yeah, you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> if you're happy and yeah, you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and yeah, you know it, then you please be the child. If you're happy and yeah, you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and yeah, you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and yeah, you know it, stamp your feet. <laughs> Happy and you know it on your face with Julie Show it. Happy and you know it's on your feet. Yay! Shall we? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Se volvió loco. Dale un besito a papá. Dale un besito a papá. Mira. Dale un besito. Mira. Papá, dale un besito, ya no quiere. Así <laughs> un besito más. He's like, forget it. Okay, it's all, he's not doing it. <laughs> Mira, Máximo, ¿por qué no pudo comer por un, casi dos días? Indito, comiéndose la banana. Él vio esa banana y vio la gloria. Deja que vea el scramble, tiene que poner la mesa enfrente. Uh -huh. Para que... Para que pueda comer en la mesita. Sí, está muy Vamos a prender la luz. Espérate. This is what Maximus looks like. Much better. Look at him. Now he doesn't know what else to get into. Oh my goodness. You could tell he's definitely feeling better. <laughs> He's literally getting into everything. Versus when we got here yesterday morning. He was doing so bad. So thank God that everyone in the hospital responded so well. Did everything so fast. Gave him all the treatments, medications, oxygen that he needed. Thank God they didn't intubate him. Because they said that if he didn't respond, start to respond well at the beginning, then they would have had to intubate him. And I was so scared that I didn't really want him to go through that. Because his heart was almost, it was always, it was going up all the way to 190 and 180s and it was staying there. So it was so bad. 
and they didn't want him to affect, start affecting his heart because of the heavy breathing and working so hard. And then he was like hyperventilating and panicking. It was really bad to see. I don't wish that on anyone or any baby or any child. So thank God he's a lot better. They're going to transfer us supposedly to like another floor just to keep them um, 24 hours observation to see how he does without the oxygen because they took it out this morning um, during the night they were weaning him off the oxygen little by little and he did get a fever last night so they gave him Tylenol but he hasn't had a fever since so that's a good sign he's eating today because he's able to eat so he's eating pretty good um, and I already know he's his normal self again look at him I'm so happy with this hospital they has treated they have treated us so well so well they're so um caring and there he goes look if I don't take keep an eye on him he already knows how to open the curtain and he's trying to escape guys look he knows how to open the door <laughs> I just want to keep you guys posted I'll just update when they transfer us but I know that everything is so much better. So I'm so happy. He wrapped himself around. Like, where's Max? Where's Maximus? I don't know that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, anyways, look. It's like the, the room service here is like the food is not even that bad. It was so good. The chocolate chip cookies are so bomb. But... I don't know, you know, there's nothing like home, but they've made it as homey as possible. And this is my beautiful view of downtown Chicago. The Arlerton Hotel. Tip top tap. I don't know what building this is. But yeah, that's the updates. Max, come here. Uh, he took a nap earlier, so um, Israel just went home to get like some stuff that we needed. Just for everybody to like take the um, precautions, like if you know, look at Maximus' face <laughs> with the filter. <laughs> he looks so on point. We look on point with this filter because you know we haven't slept. But yeah, um. Just take the right precautions because follow your instincts because you never know. It could be too late. Like, it was so scary. Nene, ya te sientes mejor. Yo sé que sí, porque mira cómo le está. Ay, madre, ve que casalita, te puro, como yo la amo. Max, say, I feel better. Thank the Lord. Say, thank you. Okay, so let me continue because Maximus was having a little photo shoot with me. So basically what I wanted to say was like, if you see these signs in your child, like, with, even if it's like a common cold, sometimes you think like this is how it all started with him. It was just a runny nose and then, you know, he had a fever and he had a little cough, but it wasn't nothing severe. And we thought it was just a regular common cold, but then like three days after I dropped him off at my mom's and that was the night that he got so bad. He went from being like that to like a hundred of being worse. Like he couldn't breathe. He was sweating. He had a fever. He was literally like sucking his whole stomach in every time, every time he tried to like inhale for air. It was so scary, like his ribs would show, his um, trachea, you could see it all the way go in. That's how I knew. So yeah, like what I'm saying is just pay attention to your son. Like even if it's a common cold, like follow your heart and your instincts and keep a look, uh, an eye on him because something like that can turn really bad really fast and I feel so bad that that day I actually went out because we were celebrating my birthday and but the when I dropped Maximus off he was not even close to feeling like that bad he was fine so it was so crazy that a couple hours later it went 
to that extreme level and i felt so bad and so guilty but thank god that when i picked them up in the morning you know we were able i rushed them into the er i took them to the regular doc um, hospital nearby because i didn't have time to take them all the way to the children's hospital because he was the way he was breathing i knew he was not even going to make it so i started to panic and i just took him there we ate all the red lights we didn't even have time i said eat all the red lights because this is an emergency so we made it and then they started to just you know do everything that they needed they treated it like if it was an asthma attack which is the same kind of thing that they would do for any respiratory issue but the thing is because they don't have the level of things that they need there for a child they had to transport him to the hospital of children the children's hospital anyway so the ambulance the team from Lurie over here came and picked them up which was also kind of scary but they were so nice and so like reassuring they showed me, they told me everything that was going on and they just kept me you know feeling good and not scared that you know maximus was gonna be okay he was in good hands so it was just such a scary experience but i just want to raise awareness on this because a lot of people i feel like sleep on it um be careful now especially because we're getting into winter more viruses are coming out um and mind you it's still summer it's not even like fall yet or anything and maximus is already having these things so yeah it's kind of early for maximus they, they even said it like he started early like having all these um viruses that usually come with fall and winter you know when there's like weather changes and stuff and just overall maximus just took his diaper out he has this habit of taking his diaper out and throwing it in the sink or the garbage oh my god but yeah just uh keep an eye on your kids and please um just pay attention and it's better be safe than sorry. Take them in if you really have to. Get them checked out because this was such a scary experience. The fact that they told me that they would have had to intubate him if it would have been any worse or longer or if he wouldn't have responded. That was the scariest thing in my life. Oh my goodness, he just spilled the water. So I just finished taking Maximus a bath. I took the little gown out because he wetted it and I felt like he needed a much needed shower they had already provided like the little shower gel and everything so there was a shower in here so I took advantage he's eating little ice chips because yesterday I don't know if I mentioned he was not allowed to eat so he hadn't eaten at all since the like almost two days no we're not doing that Bobby because it's gonna spill so he was able to eat today and um yeah but he loves the ice chips and stuff for right now that he's playing with them you don't want no more because you're wetting yourself again no more they're probably going to tell me that i have to put a gown but i'm just waiting for them to come back in and and then i'll just let them know so i kind of fix this hair a little bit i don't have a brush to comb it or his products I did the best I could to save his little curls. Max, say I'm feeling a lot better. So as you guys know, Maximus is on isolation. So that means that I can't leave this room with him. Um, she said that I can't walk him around the hall because he's on isolation. So we're kind of stuck in this room. <laughs> and there's only so much he can do. So he's like getting into everything. They have brought him that mat and toys. They even put that thing on top of the crib because Maximus is a wild thing. And they were scared he was literally going to like jump over. <laughs> so it's like a little cage, a little jailhouse. So yeah, but trying to make this as most, you know, the funnest for him. But I even blew up that balloon for him. But, you know, there's only so much we can do in here. <laughs> We're trying, boy, right? ¿Cómo que tú haces? Máximo. Máximo. ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es? Dale. Open the thing. Así. Ay, tío, tan puto, mi puto. Trying to open it. And I can't. 
screw this, with this thing on it, you can't really see from back here. Yeah. And you can't see going backwards, so we're, we're a good pair. <laughs> Is this it yet? No. <laughs> we wanted to bring it to our uh, lunch room. Night, 4 a.m., give or take a little, an hour before or after. Because then we'll do vitals, assessment, check how he's breathing. We don't need this all night. We'll just spot check him when we do our vitals as well. Uh, but if you think he's getting more labored while he's sleeping, you let us know. The nighttime especially is when yeah. sometimes they unfortunately dip backwards. Which yeah. Is why they probably want you here another night. Just to make sure that he doesn't do that. If he does, sometimes it's just the amount of it doesn't necessarily need to be a whole high flow system. Sometimes it could just be like a nasal cannula, a couple of liters, um, but it just okay. kind of depends on the this time. But if you notice anything, obviously just let us know. We're here so we can always check in extra time if need be. I just love seeing him like this. Yeah. This, this is how he is. Talk this is that's the, the normal. Yeah, that's yeah, the normal. That's normal. You want to go with her? Go you want to go with me? Oh, how big are you? Oh. You're so big. You want to? <laughs> you want her to show you the, the whole floor? No, he yeah. can't. He's in isolation. Oh, he can? No, unfortunately not. He's in isolation. He's got, yeah, he's a little sick. He does have a little bit of a bug still, so. Come here, Max. Se me olvidaron muchas cosas. Yo me voy a bañar ya mismo. Quería grabar. Yo creo que eres tú porque. Is you? <laughs> Look at the new view. Of the other room. This view is more beautiful downtown. Like it. I <laughs> New room. New room. Well, oh, no, what, what building that is. Oh, Max. Max, I'm just trying to take his diaper out. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to take your diaper out. You're trying to hide. <gasps> Give me. This is why I have to put that onesie on you because you be taking that diaper out. Give me. You gotta change it. Max. Maximus. Mmm, say so thank you, Titi Tiny, for cooking. Mmm. What are you watching? Girl, he loved it. Say good night. Good night.